Welcome back, Vinyl Community. Taking you on a musical trip to the Caribbean today. With some carnival vibes. Celebrate the summer. I got a found a recent thrift haul of uh, Caribbean records, non-reggae. Well, there's a little bit of reggae in there. So I'm going to share that with you today. And uh, also, I thought it would give me the opportunity to share some of my other uh, non-reggae Caribbean records. Starting off with some soca here. First up, my thrift haul. I had. Uh, I, so, I bought all of them at the same time. I sort of feel funny when you find a, a collection of records that are obviously from the same previous owner and I, I feel kind of weird just buying some of them. So I ended up picking up some of them. I knew some were going to be kind of cheesy. Uh, so I picked up two by The Merry Men. Jolly Roger Jump Up with The Merry Men. I, I've seen a lot of these guys' records around. They are from a Barbados. This is uh, late 70s on all of both of these. And then there was a Sugar Jam, nice cover there. I've seen their records around before. They were fronted by Emile Straker. Uh, they basically took uh, basically 60s folk music and applied kind of a calypso beat to it. Calypso, of course, is kind of the traditional music of the Caribbean, traditional folk music. And these guys kind of applied like the actual uh, folk song lyrics, so you get to Wreck of the Sloop John B and songs like that done in kind of a Calypso style. As I said, fronted by Emile Straker from Barbados, who did a lot to, uh, to popularize Calypso. Many, many albums by those guys. Calypso is derived from a uh, Afri West African musical rhythm called Kezo. That's what this song is about. This is actually a soca song. This is a song called, uh, I got this on 7 inch single, Caesar, Kezo is Love on the Kalinda label, 1979 on this one. Kezo, as I said, West African rhythm brought to the Caribbean by uh, transplanted slaves, uh, eventually evolved into Calypso later on in the 17, 1800s and developed through various styles there. Calypso was very popular in the 1950s and 1960s, hugely popular due to uh, Harry, Bel or Harry Belafonte, of course, Deo, the Banana Boat song, and all that, uh, that Calypso craze. Next in the thrift hall, King Swallow, Child of the Universe. Now, Calypso would have uh, quite often kind of a, a sardonic tinge to the lyrics. A lot of it can be, uh, can be uh, risque. They'll often do songs like uh, Big Bamboo, which is not about a tree, and uh, things of this nature. Shame and Scandal, those are songs you see over and over again. Uh, as the 1970s wore on and uh, other forms of Caribbean music like reggae got more popular, Calypso kind of evolved into a more dance-focused, uh, more party kind of uh, music aimed at an international audience called Soca. King Swallow, he's also known as Mighty Swallow from Trinidad, which is the home of uh, Calypso. He was uh, a, uh, evolved into the soca sound and kept up with the lyrical tradition of commenting on kind of news of the day, which is kind of a, a thing that uh, Calypso would be known for. This is a song called Coup d'etat, criticizing dictators. That's the soca rhythm, faster than the, the Calypso. Guns and bombs and submachine. Guns and bombs and submachine. 
We want freedom, we want human rights. That's King Swallow. Another Soka one that was in the hall, the Equitables, Jamming for Carnival. Now, when you find Soka or Calypso records, usually they're on one of two labels. This one is on Strikers Records out of uh, New York, founded by Granville Straker. Did a lot to um, popularize Caribbean music. I'm going to needle drop this one. This is a tune called Sanford. The other label you always see is uh, Charlie's on that King Swallow one. Again, this is the Soka rhythm, late 70s. It's carnival music, party music. Found this one in the thrift hall, Lobo, Caribbean disco show. Kind of a long medley of uh, covers of songs. There's a few segments that are kind of pure rhythm. Uh, kind of more uh, more Munich than, uh, than Caribbean, but that was in the hall. One reggae one, or two reggae ones in the hall. Someone Loves You Honey by June Lodge. June Lodge later recorded as J.C. Lodge. Had lots of hits through the 80s and into the 90s. This is her debut on the U.S. Joe Gibbs label. Someone Loves You Honey, big hit song for her cover of a Charlie Pride tune. I actually enjoyed that, uh, that uh, June Lodge one more than I thought I would. Known that song for ages, but for some reason never picked up the LP, but just cool, laid back, lovers rock grooves. Uh, there was one 12 inch single, again, reggae, in this uh, thrift haul. This is the last one. Then I'm going to get into some of my other records. Mark Jaja Bryan, Revelation Song on the Rohit, sorry, Rohit label. Hopefully the light's okay. I'm filming at uh, dusk, which I don't usually do, but I got some quiet time, so why not? Getting into some of my other Caribbean records, non-reggae for the most part. Uh, 20th Century Steel Band. Of course, there's lots of Steel Band records out there. This one famously sampled by Gwen Stefani on the Island label. Getting into the music of Haiti now. Haiti is uh, very close to Cuba, so it's got much more of a pronounced Latin influence in the music. Uh, lots of large bands. Kind of the popular music that came out of Haiti in the 60s and 70s is called Compa. One of the groups is Exile One. Uh, again, large bands tends to be uh, very fast rhythms based on the, the merengue and other Latin, uh, Latin styles mixed with kind of the Afro-Caribbean influence. This was a real cool thrift find I had about a year or so ago. Les Gypsies de Perditionville from Haiti. Again, Compa record. Uh, the Obi Ibo label. Beautiful condition here. 50 cents this cost me. Very cool back cover there. Of course, one of the more well-known Haitian bands, Taboo Combo. This is uh, Indestructible. This is one I have by them. This was actually the first one I ever picked up by them. I'm going to give you a quick needle drop on this. A lot of their songs seem to be uh, show up on YouTube's uh, list of songs that are going to get you blocked, but this one does not seem to be on there. This is getting into a bit more of a funk influence. Taboo Combo were very popular in New York. This is a song called Move the Apple, as in the Big Apple. Hopefully you can hear kind of the Latin influence in there too. Kind of a disco funk vibe on this one. A bit unusual for their music. Also from Taboo Combo, Respect, this is a reissue. Twenty eleven on Secret Records. This 
is a recent purchase, Taboo Combo. Eight Sacrama. Gink Fool. Uh, early mid 70s on this one. There's a great compilation of Haitian Compa called Haiti Direct. This is from Strut Records. Came out a couple of years ago. Very informative liner notes. Beautiful uh, double LP compilation here. Getting into some music from the Bahamas. This is an uh, original I picked up a while back. Got this from my buddy Kevin. A Nation is Born. This is an LP put out to celebrate the independence of Bahamas. Nation is born. Uh, real mix of stuff on here from some kind of gospel choir music, a bit of soul, a bit of um, calypso. Uh, there's a great live version of um, Funky Nassau by the beginning of the end. And also a cool track called Independent Bahamas by Biosis Now. I'll give you a quick taste of that. Very funky one. Also from Bahamas, Frankie Zhivago Young and the Ramblers, Rams on the Loose, kind of a soul calypso. Compilation of Bahamas music from the Numero group. Grand Bahama Goombe, Cult Cargo. Liner notes, very uh, soul, funk influenced music from the Bahamas. Just a general Caribbean compilation, Calypse Soul 70. Bit of reggae on here, bit of soul and funk from around the Caribbean. And that also came on Strut Records. Liner notes there. This was a thrift find I had a while back. It's kind of a ethnographic type recording, I guess you'd say. It's from the National Geographic Society. The music of Trinidad. Basically the sounds of carnival. It's not really straight music. Just kind of some beautiful photos in there. Independent Bahamas. Tropical Disco Hustle on Cultures of Soul label. Exactly as it says. Disco Funk Soul. Last few finds here. Or not finds, but ones in my collection. Three volumes of West Indies Funk. It's basically funky side of the steel band sound. This came out on Trans Air Records. Double LP sets. Volume 2. West Indies Funk, Volume 3. The Calypso sound was also in Jamaica. It's not just confined to uh, Trinidad or other parts of the Caribbean. In Jamaica it was called Mento. Mainly came out on 78 RPM discs. Uh, it's kind of not a whole lot of that uh, music available now, but Pressure Sounds did put out a nice compilation called Take Me to Jamaica. Jamaican Mento. So that's what I've got for you today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. There's probably some records you don't typically see in the vinyl community. So, cheers.